In this particular session, we will continue with our browser. So let's get started with the browser here. So again, I'm using my Android device in which we have installed our browser agent. And let's start the Emirates server here as well. Just turn on the Emirates server and go back to your Kali Linux. And from here, just open your terminal and just go with browser console connect and this will give you access to your browser from where you can execute your multiple different commands and you can see we were connected to our agent so just go with the help command this will give you a list of all the commands that you can execute here all the commands were not necessary because so the commands were basic commands there let's say if you want to print something on the screen you can go with the echo commands that's not the useful case to us all the times if you want to check the environment variables you can go with the env part if you want to see all the contributors that helped in developing browser you can just go with this contributor command so not all the commands were necessary to us so to get a list of all the all the actions all the modules that you can execute with help of browser you can go with the ls command you can go with list command as well right or if you enter the module command you will also get the list of all the modules out there Generally, I'm going to use ls to get a list of all the modules that you can execute with the normal description out there. We will start with the basics here. Let's say I'm targeting my Diva Beta application again, which was installed in this Android device. That's my Diva Beta. Let's just take it on this left hand side. So let's start with the basic information gathering about this Diva Beta. So what you can do, you can go with the run command and then you can go with app.package and you can keep on pressing your tab button to get the autofill hints here that you can go with so let's start with the basic package information let's just go with app.package.info and with this you need to specify the package name for the package name you can go with the hyphen hyphen package option that's available here go with hyphen hyphen package and then go with the package name if you know the package name it's good otherwise you can just go with a different option and you can start with app.package.list here right with which if you want you can go with the different app name you can go with the permission you can go with user ids you can go with the group ids filters and the permission part here as well it's again your call if you want you can go with these options but it's completely your call right right now let's say if i simply press enter here this will give me a list of all the installed application package name here it's a bit slower than ADB because ADB was a daemon for our Android device but that's not a daemon that's a normal application that runs on our Android device in the background right, so this will feel a bit slower to the ADB if you execute the same command on the ADB just go with ADB shell pm list and go with packages this will give you result in just a quick snap so we got the package name here as chakra sim diva just copy this package name and then you can execute all of your commands here go with the run again go with app dot go with package and then go with information and here you can specify your package and paste the package name and this will give you basic information about your package like the application label that was displayed on this menu here this normal application label you can see was listed here we got the process name we got the application version we got the data directory here we got the apk file path here we got user id and the group ids here we got shared libraries here after this shared libraries you can see we also got these user permissions that were defined in the application and there was no other permission defined so you can get nothing here done other than that part if you want to see all those uh, components from that application you can directly go with app sorry let's go with the run command first then go with app dot package and from here you can read the manifest file if you want or if you want to launch it in intent you can go with launch it intent if you want to check for all the exported component let's say all the exported activities all the exported databases your services and your broadcast receiver can be easily determined with this attack surface part so just go with app.package.attack surface and here again you need to specify the package name 
otherwise it will automatically get a text surface for all those installed applications but let's say we want to figure out the attack surface only for this specific package so just enter the package name and this will give you the result that one particular content provider of the database was exported and one activity was also exported here so if you want to perform some actions on your activities you can directly go with your run command again go with app dot activity and you can perform all these corresponding actions on your android applications activity but before moving to the activity first of all let's go with the manifest file as well so i'll go with package again and then go with manifest and here again we need to specify the package name so it can get the manifest file for that application you can easily read the manifest file here all the labels were not listed here because labels were generally collected from your strings.xml file right so you will get the string reference here but not the exact value so if you want you can directly extract you can directly decompile the application and then read your manifest file but you can give it a check after that part if you want you can just go with your normal activities here just go with activity and let's say if i want to find out the basic information about the activity you can directly go with app.activity.information and here you can go with the package name so you can collect the basic information about those activities like which particular activities were exported by default it will only show you the exported activity but if you want to get a list of all those uh, normal activities as well you can go with these options here you can go with the show intent filters or if you want you can go with the verbose options as well it's again your call so just go with hyphen hyphen show intents let's say i want the show intents and then you can also go with your verbose part hyphen hyphen verbose and then let's go with hyphen hyphen package and this was my package name this will show you intent filters in a much detailed format and for this particular package and you can see we got the intent filter the particular action that was defined is this one so you can directly call the particular category for that intent is this one and the activity name here if you want to start to the activities you can also go with the same command just go with run app dot activity dot start command and you can go with your action hyphen hyphen action and then you can go with your package name or you can go with this action that was defined here so just copy this action or not this one so again go with the browser console connect done so again go with run app dot activity dot let's go with the start part and then go with the action hyphen hyphen action then i'm going to use the particular action which was defined here so just copy this action and let's paste it here and just press enter if you want to start that action but not all the options in this browser works so, but you can give it a check if it works that's well and good if it not work you can switch back to the adb android debug page so you can give it a check if you want otherwise you can go back to adb to start this particular activity directly with the activity manager part but browser can help you with some basic tests that you can perform suppose let's say you want to perform some basic scans right so you can go with the scanner module and then you can search here for your secret codes you can search here for your normal readable files you can also search here for your injections you can search here for your uris that were available in your application source code you can also search here for your sql tables as well let's see if i go with this provider part and if i search for sql tables we have we need to specify the hyphen hyphen package and that's my package name right this will give me the appropriate activities just go with the right package name in the same manner you can also search for your sql injection you can check your application for sql injections as well you can also find out all the like useful uri defined in your android application and here you can see from this uri that was your notes table right 
nodes database you can see we got some tables as nodes was there sql underscore sequence was there and android underscore metadata was also available there if you want to check them for the sql injection you can go with run app dot dot go with app just go with scanner dot go with provider dot injection and here we need to specify the hyphen hyphen package if you want to check for multiple uri at the same time but if you want to specify the uri you can go with the hyphen hyphen uri and with this you need to specify this complete address here just go with the package name and go with the package name here as jacara sim diva and hit enter and here you can see we got some results but it says that your content viral your database was not vulnerable to sql injection but you can check all those or you can execute all those options that were available in your browser so that's the basic browser you can use it have a good day and stay connected